Welcome back to a brand new episode of Charm City Beat. It is playoff baseball in Baltimore and Char and mm, Charm City Media. We're here to cover it. Um, the Orioles are getting ready for their first uh, for the playoffs against the Rangers in the ALDS. Golly. We're here. We finally made it, guys. Let's get excited. Let's get fucking excited. This weekend is the beginning of uh, divisional playoffs. Um, we had the wild card well rested. Well, we had the break during the wild card well rested. Yeah. Let's get down to it. Yeah. Thanks to the Piano Man and Stevie Nicks. The Oral game is at 1 p.m. on Saturday. That's the first game. And we're looking at probably Bradish pitching for the Orioles against Dunning for the Rangers because Eovaldi and Montgomery just went for Texas, just did a roar in number two pitches with Scherzer getting hurt. I think it's the best playoff matchup of the entire playoffs. Mm -hmm. It's this one coming up. The Rangers are a really good team. They were the darlings of the first half, other than the Rays, and they sort of have been limping into the second half, but my God, they destroyed the Tampa Bay Rays this week yeah. in the wild card, and that offense is real. And I think the Orioles had their hands full, but I'm hopeful that playing at home, being rested, having a better, slightly better pitching staff, and all the intangibles that come with 101 wins, yeah, will be okay. Yeah, like I said, I think, I think someone have to say, I think we have the better bullpen. We can our starters can do what we've been doing lately, and like I said, they're all everyone's rested. That's something the Orioles have not been able to say the whole month of September. They've been. Having the nice fun practice games, staying loose, you know, people coming out, filling the stadiums, almost as many fans at the Rays playoff game came to our practice. What's that about? Can can somebody explain it to me? I saw that. I'm like, really? Like yeah, they 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 talk a big game. Like now we like them, but no, oh, so far the the, the, the it's stuff not that stuff that's not close to bottom. Or we make it out there. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, no, I mean, speaking of Baltimore, just in general, the historicness of this uh, playoff appearance, again, this is 30 years after the Orioles last won the World Series. That that That's insane in itself, 40 years. That, yeah, <laughs> it's been a while. But again, it's still exciting. I, no, I literally can't believe it. Um, I was I was nervous. I was thinking like if we're gonna play Tampa, that that honestly Tampa to me personally, I mean even though we beat them, we I mean we've beaten literally every team in the MLB right now, but I was a little nervous about playing Tampa again. But Texas, uh, the Rangers definitely um, that player hands full. Texas gives me that feeling like, and I hate it, but it's the feeling of like that team that just has the it factor right now in the playoffs, and that scares the bejesus out of me. Yeah. But I, I do – baseball is a different beast. It's not like football mm -hmm. where it's just one game. And it's it's it's, seven, it's five games. And so they've got to beat the Orioles three times in five games. And that's, it's going to be tough in three of those games are in Camden Yards, and the first two are at Camden Yards. And yeah. that's going to be a rambunctious bunch of freaking Oriole fans on Saturday and Sunday. Mm -hmm. And it's just – I think the Texas Rangers are going to go from 16 to 20,000 fans 40,000 rabid fans packed in, standing room only, you know, fireworks, Brooks Robinson, you know, is going to be hovering over the whole event. Yep. They're going to build that for all it's worth. It's, I'm excited for it. I think the Orioles are going to come out and hopefully if Bradish gives you that first inning clean, pitching-wise, mm -hmm. I think we're going to we're gonna roll. Yeah, I, the weather is actually improving. Apparently it was supposed to rain Saturday, the day I'm going, of course, and – but just check the weather. It's supposed to be like partly cloudy. So the weather's going to be on our side. If it's nice out, set, you know what that means. There's going to be a lot of free game, a lot of day drinking. It is going to be reckless. I can't wait. Yeah, last I saw, it was going to be like 60 degrees or something on Saturday. Like Perfect. it's just great weather, baseball. Bring a light jacket, have some fun. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah. What are your guys' predictions for the playoffs? Do you think – I guess the Rangers anyway. Like, uh, I feel like a sweep is too much to ask for. I'd love to see them winning four, three games to one, maybe dropping one of the games in Texas. My prediction, anyway. If we swept them, that would be absolutely 
Um, I don't. I don't know about a sweep. I I do think. I do think they'll get off to a pretty strong start. I think having the rest that they needed, as hard as they've been playing, that rest was much needed. I don't think it'll be again like football. Um, I don't think it's going to potentially slow down the momentum. I, I think it's what they need. Um, so I think coming back rested, focused. Yeah, there's a good chance. I think we might take it early. I think we definitely do good at home. I I, th- I definitely think the home crowd being there is definitely going to motivate them. It, it can go, obviously, one of two ways. Either we're going to come out Saturday, pumped up, go take care of business like we do, or just one little thing will happen and then, oh, playoffs, what's the – is new yeah. for most of this team. Yeah. yeah. Even There's so, person there, right? I, it wouldn't surprise me if something, re- somehow they drop game one, just, you know, Rick said, Rangers play two games. Funny enough, every wild card game was two games. Yeah. So everyone's going into these series rested. But I, I, I can, I, I still would have us take it in four. I don't see it going five. I think what I think what is in the Orioles' favor. I think they had forty plus some come from behind wins. Um, I don't think that's gonna phase them. Um, Brandon Hyde won a World Series with the Cubs, so at least he's been there. And and Kyle Gibson, he's probably gonna be in the bullpen for the first. He might he might start Game Four, but I feel like he he was in the Phillies last year when they went to the World Series. So they've got some leadership there. But this is the same. I mean, the Orioles in 2012 didn't really have anybody that went to the playoffs, and they beat the Texas Rangers five to one in the inaugural wild card. So, I don't. I think to a point, you know, it's a little bit interesting. But these guys have been winning at all levels of baseball. Like they just won the International League championship. Like Adley Rushman has only known winning in the Baltimore organization, even going back to last year when he came up, they had a winning record. So, like they've been playing winning baseball the last two years, and I, I can't see that suddenly stopping. Yeah. In the playoffs, it's a Rangers team that was damn near 500 since the All Star break. Like that team, to me, has more issues. And I think right now they had a they just ran into a really dysfunctional Rays team. Wander Franco was like kick off the team for like doing stuff with 14 year olds, and then their ace got Tommy John, and then their number two pitcher had Tommy John, then number three pitcher had Tommy John. And I just think that they're just yeah, those, they just those injuries their, definitely finally caught up with them. Yeah. That team that won 30 games in April and May is, is not the team we saw in, in Tropicana Field this past weekend. I think I think it's going to be a rude awakening for the Rangers. The atmosphere alone is just going to yeah, to be insane. Nope, I get it. I, I, that atmosphere, it's going to be great. Like, I'm really excited for it. It's going to be a great weekend of Baltimore sports, to be honest. <laughs> We have two playoff games. Then we have the Steelers and the Ravens, which we're about to talk about in our other episode, which there'll be a link somewhere in the info for that. But, yeah, like, great weekend for Baltimore sports, man. But, mm. yeah, that does it for our episode. Um, Orioles in the playoffs, baby. Taking on the Rangers Saturday, Sunday. We're here um, covering it all. We're excited. Um, any last thoughts? Um, for me personally, I think I'm first. I'm jealous that you're going to that game. I mean, that's insane. Um, it's gonna be amazing to watch it on TV and just have the entire country watching the Orioles and finally seeing for real what this team is. And I guess they're finally. It's the next big step here for this club. And we weren't supposed to be here. This is supposed to be next year. And so at the end of the day, no matter what happens, it's just insane. But I feel yeah. like when you have one on wins, the expectation I guess is the World Series. And so let's let's have some fun. Let's see if we can do it. Yeah, Ross. Yep, I I will be I I will be taking off work to watch this game on Saturday. <laughs> yes, I'm not. Yes, I I, I I'm I'm not going to pay two hundred something dollars on Seeky to go because <laughs> I, I have better things I could spend that on. Yeah, last so I could watch it at home perfectly fine, save everything way better. Yeah. But no, I will be definitely watching both games, and uh, yeah, yeah. We do all have to get together for a playoff game. If they do go deep, we got to get together, watch somewhere. It's going to be a great time. I am excited for this weekend. Um, Luckily enough, thank you to my (laughs) father-in-law. Beautiful anniversary gift. (laughs) Um, But, yeah, 
it's it's going to be an exciting weekend. The odds are the odds are high. This it, the, the, it, it's up there. You know, this is this is what we've been waiting this whole rebuild for, and here we are seeing the fruits of the labor. It's beautiful. Um, it's going to be an amazing game. Um, we're going to be covering this all weekend through Facebook, Twitter, X, whatever the hell you call it. Um, multiple videos. Don't forget to like and subscribe and stay tuned. Go O's, baby. Let's go. Check. Hello? What's up? Who are, we doing, who are we doing first? Oh, man. Hold up. Sorry about the late start, guys. It's all good. Cool. All right. Uh, who, 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 are we, who are we talking about first? Hmm. I guess. Let me. Well, how do the notes look? I guess if we're going to go. Notes have it Ravens and Orioles. Notes have Ravens and Orioles. Uh, we can go Orioles first because I'm already dressed for the occasion. Sleep. I just first. need to know what outfit I need to put on. Yeah. Ooh, I do costume changes around here. <laughs> All right. Let's. Uh... <laughs> oh, shit. This is crazy. Yeah. Let's go. Let's oh, wow. Go. Oh, okay. Well, there's a lot more Orioles stuff. I did not read the Orioles stuff since it's been updated. Oh, give it a quick. I had it some stuff. Oh, I'm... Yeah, I, I haven't. I just haven't checked since I've been rushing to get home. But no, no, no. no I, can, I can fly. I can, right. I can do it live. That's the thing. Because it's off this, yeah. Yeah. All right, let's shoot it in three, two, one.